Hi everyone, this is Zethagos. It's no secret that I thoroughly enjoy the button shy games. It's just amazing how much game you can put into just 18 cards. And the portability of these cool little wallets is amazing. I've recorded so many videos for these button shy games and there are more to come. So I thought it'd be about time to mention some of my favorite games. Note that this is not a top 10 per se. These are currently my most favorite button shy games, but there are more that I will play in the future. Then I might record a follow up to this video. So these games are amazing, but in no specific order. Alright, let's get started. Ragemoor is one of my absolute favorites and generally one of the most favorite solo games. It's a pretty complex one since you do have quite a few options during your turn. Essentially this is a set collection game on a variable timer, if I can put it this way. You assemble heroes that go on quests and defeat enemies while trying to collect specific cards in order to win. Yes, it needs more time to get into and can only be played solo but it's a really great game I immensely enjoy. I just wish it had a few expansions. Check out my playthrough for a demonstration on how the game plays. Next up is Agri Griffin Inn, another solo only game. If I'm not mistaken, this was my first button shy game ever and it still holds up really well. You own a tavern that is separated into the bar and the rooms. Every round you have to move a patron from the bar into the topmost room in the tavern. But each patron has their own irks and quirks that are all activated and then may make them and other guests leave. Balancing this to win can be really tricky, but it's amazing when you make it. This game needs quite a bit of table space, but it is a wonderful solo game. I have a few playthroughs on my channel for this one as well. Let's shake it up with a two player game. Death Valley is my most favorite button shy game as of now. It's a pushy luck game, a mechanism I love, where you and the other player are traversing Death Valley trying to stay clear of too many hazards of the same type while collecting memories in your journal. You win with a combination of points and effects of all cards you collect in your player area. It's easy to explain and quick to play. The solo mode works exceptionally well too. Check out my solo playthrough on my channel. Revolver Noir is another two player game and probably the most creative one on this list. It is a cat and mouse game. Both players are in the same house, going through rooms, setting traps and trying to shoot the other player. This game has a really clever mechanism and is quite tense. The best thing is that you just have a pile of cards in your hand, so you can play this anywhere and don't need any surface to play this on. The perfect to play game to take with you. One of my absolute favorites. I highly recommend this one. In Vino Morte is a game I have often mentioned and I often take with me just because it is incredibly simple and supports up to 8 players which is amazing for an 18 card wallet game. The game can be explained in a few sentences. One player distributes cards among all players, either wine or poison. Then each player can choose. Do they drink by turning over the card or do they trade with another player? If they drink wine it's fine, but if it's poison they are out of the game. You continue playing until there's one player left standing. That is it. This simplicity and the fact that this supports up to 8 players makes it the perfect bar or restaurant game. Let's go back to the solo games. Rove is great. I needed a bit of time to warm up to it, but it's actually really challenging but rewarding as a puzzle game. You need to use movement points to manipulate the position of cards to fulfill specific objectives. And this is not easy at all. It really works your brain in a good way. Also there are expansions that really make the game more interesting and challenging. If you like thinky solo puzzles, this might be the game for you. And the theme is just great. Look at this cute robot on his adventures. Utterly adorable. And yes, there's a playthrough on my channel for this one as well. As for most button shy games on this list. Back to a game for two players. Moving Pictures. This is one of the most recent games in my button shy collection. This game has a simple premise, but I really like the puzzle it presents. In this cooperative game, you and your playing partner have a hand of cards that you distribute among scene cards in the center of the table. The two twists. The numbers need to be in the right order and you must not communicate with each other. Adding interesting effects and you have a really cool game. And there even is a solo mode you can print out. It really works well too. A wonderful game with a really cool movie theme. This clearly became one of my most favorite button shy games. You can watch my playthrough to get an idea of the game as I play it solo. Another two player game I want to mention is Wonder Tales. This is a game with a fairy tale theme where you and the opposing player are putting down cards with specific effects in a predefined grid that changes from round to round. You could say it kind of has an area control component since you're trying to place your cards in such a way that you receive the most points and the opponent will have to put their cards in worse positions. And this game has a solo mode you can print out as well. It's a good solo mode, although I clearly do prefer the two player game here since it's a really interesting head to head battle. 
I do a video on the solo mode on my channel. Skulls of Sedlik is a very well known and popular game. It is based on the Sedlik Ossuary in the Czech Republic. In this game you and the other player play skulls in a pyramid shape. Each skull type has a different scoring condition and that makes the game so fun. There are a lot of expansions for the game with new skull types and scoring conditions and the solo mode is incredibly solid. There are two dedicated solo expansions that introduce new shapes. An amazing game, one of Buttonshy's very best. Yep, you guessed it, there are several playthroughs for that one on my channel as well. Last but definitely not least, Tossy Mossy is my second most favorite game right after Death Valley. It has a beautiful flower theme and it was designed by Elizabeth Hargraves who also designed Wingspan, my most favorite board game of all time. This is a I cut you choose game where you prepare two flowers and the next player has to decide which one to take. Yes, it is incredibly simple, but that's what makes it so fun. The expansions enhance that experience. Also the solo expansion is really good as well. I play this game quite often. I highly recommend this one. If you'd like to get an idea of how this game plays, why don't you check out my solo playthrough? You know what? Maybe you should just watch my button shape playlist. <laughs> well, there you have it. These are 10 amazing game in the button shy 18 card wallet game series. Now I'd like to hear your opinion. Which button shy games do you really enjoy? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this video, why don't you let me know by liking and commenting. And if you'd like to stay up to date with my future videos, why don't you subscribe to my channel? That would be just amazing. Also, you can hang out with me and my community on my Discord server. I'd love to see you over there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the very next video. Take care everyone, stay safe and cheers.